how did Shaws of Sunset come to pass? Like how, how did it get approached? Uh, how did you get approached and, and why did you do it? Um, so I was living in Las Vegas um, and I spent all my 20s in Vegas. So from the time I was about 21, I dropped out of law school, moved to Vegas to pursue a career in real estate. Market was booming, was making great money. Market crashed. And I came back home with my tail between my legs, like thinking, okay, what the hell am I going to do with my life now? You know, like re the real estate market's dead. Um, but I had saved up just enough money where I could survive, but I wasn't thriving. Um, and I convinced my middle brother, who was a dentist, to move in with me. Um, and I found us a house in the Hollywood Hills because I wasn't going to move back with my parents, right? So I have a house in the Hollywood Hills. I'm driving home one day, and on the side of the road is this guy, Sammy, Big Sam from season one of Shaws of Sunset. Standing on the side of the road, and I've known this guy for years. You know, we partied together, you know, got nuts, girls, all this type of shit. He's a really fun guy. Um, but one thing I knew about Sammy was that he talks a lot. So if you were going to speak with him, it's going to be an hour conversation because he has so much to say all the time. So I saw him and I thought he didn't see me because I zipped by and he starts yelling my name, Mike, Mike, I'm like, uh, I was going to ignore him. Then he calls me. He's like, come back. I need to talk to you. And I drive back down and he's like, Hey man, we're filming this new reality show. They don't have a name for it yet, but it's about Persians in LA and you'd be perfect for it. And I'm like, Oh, hell no. I heard about this. So-and-so is going to be on it. I want nothing to do with it. I want to be anonymous. He took it upon himself to give the producers my phone number anyways. So uh, this kid, Jesse, who was the creator of the show, who worked for Ryan Seacrest, kept bugging me, called me about 15 times. And every time I said to him, I don't want to do it. And then finally, Ryan Seacrest reaches out to me and says, hey, Mike, I heard you're a stud and you're good looking and he's charming me. And I'm like, Oh, wow, this is Ryan Seacrest telling me all these things. I just came back from a very fulfilled career where I'd lost everything. And this guy's complimenting me. He kind of like baited me. And I was like, all right, I'll sit down with you. And we sat down and he talked to me about the Kardashians and all this other shit that was happening. And I was like, all right, this is, wow, this is, this is my second wind of life. This is where my opportunity is going to come from. Your second act. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, let's give it a shot. And... Before I know it, I'm in some house in Studio City in a backyard with a bunch of people, um, some who I had known but not really close with, and a lot of strangers, all Iranian, and um, they just interviewed me, and we created this little sizzle that they wanted to show the producers of the show to see if we're right for the, this, this, this new show that they're going to be producing. So the people that they picked for the sizzle reel, was that the people that ended up being on the actual show? Yeah. So it started with like, man, there was like 20 people there that night. Um, and then from that 20, you know, after we were done, we left, then they brought us back together and it was a dwindled down group of people. And then it got dwindled down more. And then we filmed the show and then once we filmed the show, they gave us six episodes. From the six episodes, they picked um, who was on the first season of the show. And what was your relationship like with the people that were the core OGs of Shaws of Sunset? So Reza is, he just turned 50 in August, mm -hmm. okay? I am 44, mm -hmm. right? So if people put two and two together, they realize that we were not in school together, right? It's impossible, but we, you know, the Iranian community is small, so we knew of each other, mm -hmm. right? But I was not close with any of these people, except for Gigi, I grew up with her. She was like my little sister. I was best friends with her sister, Layla. And the rest of us, we just, we were acquaintances. Right. Um, but when you start filming a show like we did, where the premise is, hey, you guys are really, really close, we kind of got the idea, like, if we don't give the, network what they want, the show's not going to work because they kept embedding that into our brains. Hey, these checks don't come cheap. You guys mm -hmm. have to listen to us. We know what we're doing. Just follow what we're telling you and it's a pat and we're going to lead you to the path for success. So obviously after spending hours and hours and hours and hours together weekly as we filmed the show, we got close, right? Mm -hmm. Right. 
So there was, it was, it was like, uh, like high school, you know, you create little clicks and then within those clicks there's other clicks. And, you know, we, we became close because it was like, wow, look what we're doing for the culture. We are creating a show about Iranians where once upon a time growing up, I would hide that I was Persian, mm. right? I would tell people, no, I'm Mexican. I'm Italian. If I met a girl, I was like, yeah, I'm Italian. They're like, your last name is Shohead. Like what is, no, it's Shohead. You know, I'd make up shit just to like pretend to play the role because being Iranian wasn't cool. Mm. And when we started filming, the production crew was so excited. Like, dude, your culture is amazing. The food, the music, the, 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 the culture. So I was like, wow, you like, it gave me a new perspective on what people thought. So I became yeah. proud of the show. So I wanted to create something that the world would find to be interesting and creative, but also full of drama and sexiness and all this other shit so that we create something that will survive in this world of television where you have so many different um so many different uh, options i wanted people to watch our show 